Hey guys, Hito Essentials here. For today's video, I'm going to be using this cheer for my DIY. This is a requested video and this is the photo that was sent to me and I am trying to achieve this lovely table that you see here using chairs. Now, I was trying to see if I can use just one chair, but that's not going to work. So for this project, in order for me to achieve that beautiful design, I'm going to be using two cheers. From the picture, the pattern seems like it's slanted. So what I'm going to do is put one shear over another and make sure it's well balanced. And to my surprise, it was well balanced and super sturdy. All I have to do now is reduce the height because it's too tall and also join them together. I'm also going to be cutting the extended part that's out here as well. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. Now the height is just the way I want it to be. I love the way the chair at the top meets with the one at the bottom here and gives it a nice balance and support. I'll be holding these chairs together with wood glue and zip ties. I'm going to be attaching wood at the top here. Now, this first one that I got was too short, so I got a longer one. This is much better. Now, I made a mistake when I was cutting one of the legs, so I'm going to compensate for that little space that's there. Because this design is slanted, I'm using thick wood to make sure that I have equal weight distribution. I already applied wood glue, so now I'm just going to be using screws to hold the parts firmly together. The next thing I'll do is use foam boards to cover up the space that I don't need. And apart from the fact that it's going to be covering up the space, it's also going to help me attach the other items that I'll be using to make this grand table.
I'm also going to be attaching wood at the bottom. These are the items that I'll use to decorate the front of the table. I'm going to be using ornament balls and I tried using these ornament balls for a DIY that did not work out so well. So that's going to be used for this project. And I also went to Hobby Lobby to get larger round shapes. Now they were out of a very large ornament balls, so I had to buy these ones. I will need another size of round balls and a lot of it. So what I did was to go to Party City and I got these candy balls and I got eight and each of them was just a dollar. I got these from Hobby Lobby and you can attach them together. So what I'm going to do is use hot glue on them before attaching them together. And this is much denser than your regular styrofoam ball. That's why I'm using hot glue because it won't totally melt the foam. Now I have attached this using just hot glue and it stays right in place. But I'm going to use duct tape to hold it just to secure it properly because this is my first time attempting this kind of project so i want to make sure that they're all secure I just kept doing the same thing by adding hot glue and then using duct tape to hold them in place until I got to some of the bulbs that I know that is going to be replaced with the gold color. I just attach them temporarily for the meantime. And then when I'm done spray painting, I can replace them back and they will be in gold. I'm going to be filling up some of the open spaces with smaller ornament balls and I got these from Michael's craft store when they were on sale sometime in October. I am done. Now this part of this project was the only thing that took a lot of time. But as you can see, as I mounted each and every one of the pieces, it turned out looking similar to what it is in the picture. I spray painted it black using a high gloss Rust-Oleum black spray paint. I had high hopes for my styrofoam balls and this is what happened. I was so upset with the way it looks, but I'm just going to keep it that way for now. The spaces that I left will be covered up with the gold ornament pieces. I changed my mind and used a round decorative item here that's in gold instead of using the styrofoam ball that I would have spray painted gold. And I think it's okay. I covered up the top with mirrors. When I was done with everything, this is what the table now looks like. You should know that the sides and the back were not covered with ornament balls. I concentrated more at the front and a little bit by the sides. I have done a couple of DIYs in the past using shears and converting them into tables, but I really love how this one worked out because I literally just had one chair on top of another and it made a table. Here's what I made 
Besides, the photo that was sent to me. Now you don't have to use black, you can change the color to suit your style. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share with your friends and families as well. Thank you all so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.